Island Funk is to be with myself and also see the world. I'll go out, I'll take a walk, finding the little things that make me happy, like, okay, I have to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna stop.
Hi everyone, I hope you're all enjoying the video so far. I've watched some of the clips back so many times while editing that that's all starting to feel really alien and strange, but I hope that it's been a good company for you at least. Um, I decided I would focus on answering one question per video just so that I can try and get a grip on my rambling. I know that in the past people have said that they kind of enjoy my rambling, but sometimes when I watch it back I just think like, good grief, like <laughs> who is actually listening to this for this length of time? Um, and I would like to work on saying things a bit more concisely really. Um, so the question this week is from Natalie on Patreon, so thank you Natalie for your question. Um, and the question is, how has your move gone? Do you feel settled? Any tips for dealing with big changes? Um, and I think it's a good question to start with because it's almost introductory. Um, so for those who maybe don't know, um, a little over a year ago, I think it would have been early March last year, I left London where I grew up to live with my dad in Reading. Um, and it's been difficult, <laughs> um, but only in the way I think that all moves are difficult. The circumstances surrounding my move were very sudden and hard personally, and I won't get into it because it's personal, but I think it was the best choice to make for myself at the time. Um, that didn't really make it any easier to process, <laughs> but it was important, I think. And I am starting to feel really settled now, especially since my brother swapped bedrooms with me in December, and now I have never-ending, <laughs> it seems, natural light, which I'm so grateful for. Um, and that's part of why I'm making videos again now, because I really don't want to take the light for granted or not use it to its fullest potential. Um, and since changing rooms in December, I am now feeling a lot more settled, I think. I feel like I have a space that I connect with, um, and that's really nice. Um, I live with my dad now, which is fantastic. Um, we've always been really close, and he's probably also autistic, so it's a big, like, neurodivergent vibes household. <laughs> Um, we cook together and we eat together and we watch TV together and we walk Wednesday and it's really nice. Um, and Reading is surprisingly green. <laughs> um, not surprisingly, but just in the way that I never really knew much about it growing up because I'd never really been. And my dad only moved here like a year or so before I did. Um, so before that I'd never really known much about it, but it's so green here. <laughs> Um, and that's really nice for walking Wednesday, like we, we walk a lot and we walk quite far and it's, it's really quite beautiful compared to a lot of the concrete in London. <laughs> um, and I do miss London because it's where I grew up and it's where I considered my home to be for so much of my life. Um, and I spent so much of my life walking the streets in London and and learning it so well and you know like it's I think it will always feel like home to some degree and I'll always miss it some weeks more than others um but I do feel settled here now and I've been attending therapy for the last eight months as well and I think that's helped me at the same time I don't know if I would recommend making a very big sudden move and then starting therapy at the same time because it's been a lot mentally speaking for my first eight months at least when I was here, I felt like half a person because I was so exhausted and just drained. Um, and it was a lot. But now that I'm on the other side of it, it feels good, <laughs> I guess. Um, I feel okay for the first time in a really long time. And, and to feel okay is such an alien concept to me that I'm almost scared to jinx it by talking about it. Um, I grew up undiagnosed as many people know and that obviously did not feel great <laughs> and then for much of my adolescence and my early adulthood I also did not feel okay like it's it's such a foreign concept to me to feel okay and obviously your past trauma stays with you you don't ever really lose it even when you go to therapy and you start to process it or learn how to process it you're still going to carry it and I do and I do feel the weight of it but I live in a much healthier environment now, and I I feel like my move was well-timed, if nothing else. It was a good time for me to move, and it's a good time for me to be living with my dad. Um, and Wednesday is a lot more settled as well. Like, it's... I'm not quite sure how to word it without absolutely losing ten whole minutes, but... it's It was very difficult, but I think it was well-timed. And now that I'm starting to see the other side of it... 
I'm glad that I did it when I did, and I'm I'm also grateful to be on the other side of it. I'm grateful to be starting to feel better, to feel okay, um, to maybe recover a bit of productivity. Um, but more than anything, I'm I'm grateful that my patrons stuck with me for so much of it because some months when I was too drained to work, it was my p- patron payments that were helping me see the month through. <laughs> Um, so thank you to my patrons for that. Um, I don't know if, if maybe you realise how much of an impact having my Patreon has helped me in the last few months when I've not even really been posting. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's it's been a time, to put it simply. It's I think moving is always a time, <laughs> but it's it's definitely been a, a time. <laughs> Um, and then the last part of the question was any tips for dealing with big changes and I think just being kind to yourself and patient with yourself is the best thing that I can recommend at the moment based on my experiences Um, obviously if it was a more specific example I could give maybe some more specific advice but from the past few months I would just say that when you're feeling down and when you're dealing with some big stuff I think being frustrated and upset with yourself doesn't help anything even though it's natural to feel that way um when I first moved and I was still struggling with a lot I kept thinking to myself like okay but now you've moved and you're in the better place like why can't you just be grateful and happy and and all this stuff and it's not really as simple as that ever like it's a lot to process even if you're going from a bad thing to a good thing it's still a change and you have to process that change And a part of that process is feeling a lot. Um, And some of that stuff is not going to be good. Like, you're going to have bad feelings, and that's okay. And I think that's a big part of what I've been learning in therapy for the last few months, is that there's no point fighting your feelings. You're just going to frustrate yourself further. It's, It's better to feel them and to let yourself feel them, even if you don't like them, and to remember that they pass, and that will hopefully help you feel more grounded. Um... Obviously, all of that is easier said than done, which I've been learning and experiencing for most of my life, I guess. Um, But I think that's my advice, is just be patient and kind to yourself. Everything is always so difficult, especially at the moment, and a little patience for yourself will go a long way, I think. Um, But yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's everything covered. Megan don't ramble challenge (laughs) um but yeah I'm really excited to be making these videos it's been if not a strange but a nice experience to gradually record these clips throughout the week and edit them back it's made me feel more present a bit more grounded in my days um and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you um so thank you